Good morning, happy Sabbath, and welcome to Eyes on Prophecy here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions, and we bring you straight Bible truth for these last days. The WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. I am your host, Pastor Vince Wilson. I am the founding pastor and teacher here at Sacrificial Lamb Ministries, and I am so glad to be back with you for our Eyes on Prophecy program. We uh, have been away from our program for some time. Uh, just needed some time to uh, to regroup, to get our study materials together, and uh, by God's grace, we are back here on Eyes on Prophecy. And uh, we're going to be studying a lot about Bible prophecy together. It's something that we're going to do by His grace every Sabbath morning or every Saturday morning at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, Bible prophecy is something that I know many people are, uh, how should I say, afraid to study. Uh, They shy away from Bible prophecy. I've heard many people say, well, you know, there's so much uh, symbolism it's difficult to understand um so forth and so on and yes uh prophecy there are a lot of symbols to uh, to go through um uh, of course all these symbols have a meaning uh but uh, we're living in the last days in case you didn't know we're living in the last days friend and it's in it's important for us to understand it's important for us to know what god wants to tell us about Bible prophecy. We know that there's so many events that are unfolding before our very eyes each and every day. Uh, All we have to do is just, you know, just watch the news, what have you. There's always something. And we need to understand how these events are, um, are connected to Bible prophecy. So as we move forward, we're going to uh, take our time. We're going to go through some some great study material, and and by God's grace, we're going to have a better understanding of Bible prophecy. I'll let you know up front that each week's program, um, well, first of all, each week's program will not be lengthy, meaning that each week's program, uh, it is not my intention that we spend uh, more than, I'll say, 30 to 40 minutes on each episode. Um, I don't want to rush through the material. I want us to take our time. But um, the average program, if you have not been following, if you have not been listening to the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, uh, uh, you would not know that our episodes, every program, every segment that we have here on the podcast usually is average uh, less than 30 minutes. But when it comes to Eyes on Prophecy, we're going to go a little longer. But again, I don't want each episode to be, you know, an hour, two hours long, anything like that. Um, I want us to know or to study enough to where, you know, we have enough to, uh, you know, to uh, uh, to grasp. And, and then uh, we can just come back together the following week. So... We're going to let the Holy Spirit lead us, of course, but it is not my intention that each time we come together on Eyes on Prophecy that our uh, program, or I should say that our episodes are more than 40, uh, 45, 45 minutes at the most. But we'll see what happens, friend. Um, I ask that you will uh, grab some paper, that you'll grab a, a pen, pencil. Of course, grab your Bible because we're going to be digging into um, this study on prophecy. I'll let you know up front as well, as I continue my introduction, our study materials will come from um, the Amazing Facts study guides. Some of you may or may not be familiar with Amazing Facts. It was amazing. It was uh, through Amazing Facts, I should say, that, um, uh, that I came to faith uh 20 years ago and um i've loved these uh 
these amazing facts study guides ever since. I've used them to uh, to teach others, and uh, I will continue to use the study guides as we go through our Eyes on Prophecy uh, study. So, um, the amazing facts study guides. The other resource is a book called The Forgotten Commandment and the Mark of the Beast Crisis, uh, written by uh, Pastor O. Kerry Rogers here. He's he's located here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and he's also written that book. So, uh, again, the two resources, just so you know, that we will be using, in addition to our Bibles, of course, would be the, uh, the Amazing Facts Study Guides, as well as the book entitled The Forgotten Commandment and the Mark of the Beast Crisis. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's have a word of prayer, and then we'll get into our study for today. Loving Father, thank you so much that we're able to come together today for our Eyes on Prophecy as we study your word and we learn what you have to tell us about end times. We're living in the last days. Um, uh, these are end times. You know, we, you know, these are some perilous, uh, some perilous times that we're living in right now. So, we just ask that your Holy Spirit will will be with us and and guide us through our study, so we have a uh, clearer and better understanding of what you want us to know about uh, Bible prophecy in the end times. Thank you so much for this opportunity to study your word together. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, so I hope you've got your pen and your uh, your paper and what have you, and let's go ahead and get into it. So let me just share a Bible verse with you as we get into our study. Uh, Luke 8 and 10, in, in Luke chapter 8, verse 10, Jesus says, to you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to the rest it is given in parables, that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Again, that's from Luke 8 verse 10. Many of the apocalyptic uh, prophecies were given while prophets were in a hostile foreign land. One reason God cloaked the prophecies and symbols was to protect the messages. So that's why, um, you know, many of the prophecies are in symbols. And as I said earlier, many people do not want to study Bible prophecy, uh, particularly the books of Daniel and Revelation, uh, because of the symbolism. And, you know, they just feel that it's so difficult to understand that why bother? Um, but as I said, it's important for us to know, uh, God wants us to know in his word about uh, these prophecies and what it means for us as we are living in the last days. I just mentioned the word apocalyptic, apocalyptic, or, or uh, um, it comes from the, word, uh, from the word apocalypse. You may have heard the word apocalypse before, and that simply means end times. So when I said many of the apocalyptic uh, prophecies, I'm also saying many of the end times uh, prophecies. So just so you have that understanding. What we're going to do over the next several weeks or so, we're just going to go through a, uh, a uh, um, an introduction. I'm going to go through some introductory material with you, meaning that we're not going to get into our actual lesson studies just yet. I told you that we're going to be using the Amazing Facts uh, uh, study guides, as well as the Forgotten Commandment book, The Forgotten Commandment and the Mark of the Beast Crisis. We're going to get into that later on, but I feel it's important that we uh, go through some uh, some foundational material. In other words, going, uh, we're going to define some terms. Um, you may remember in school, certain classes, uh, the teacher went through some definitions. You defined um, the teacher defined some terms with you, some basic terms, so that once you got into the actual lesson and these terms came up, you were already familiar with them and everything made sense. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to go through some terms with you 
so that once we get into our lesson studies, once we get deeper into our Bible and what the Bible has to say, along with our lesson studies, when these terms come up, when these names come up and so forth, it'll make sense to you. And, um, you know, it'll give you a, uh, a better understanding of what God is trying to teach us. So um, uh, on your paper, uh, you, uh, you may want to make uh, a column for uh, the actual symbol, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the symbol. I want to give you uh, what the symbol means and the Bible verse that goes with it. So whatever you need to do to make it understandable for you, that's what we're going to start doing today. And like I said, this may take several weeks or so, depending on how much we um, accomplish during each time we come together, during each meeting. But let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to take a look at, well, we're going to take a look at the symbols of Bible prophecy. There are many symbols, as I've already stated, many symbols, and we want to understand, we want to understand what these symbols mean. So that once again, when these symbols come up in these lessons, when we go through the, uh, the various Bible verses that mention these symbols, they will make sense to you because you will have already uh, learned what the symbols mean. And you will see the symbols in their context. I'll say it that way. The symbols will be in their true context once we study uh, the word and, and, um, and bring these symbols out. So symbols of, of uh, Bible prophecy, that's what we're studying right now. We're going to first, uh, we're going to break that down into animals and body parts. So overall, we're looking at the symbols of Bible prophecy, but we're going to break this first section or sub, uh, subsection uh, down into animals and, bo uh, animals and body parts. So here we go. Horse horse. Horse means strength and power in battle. I'll give it to you again. Horse means strength and power in battle. Now these are the Bible verses. So as I said, I'm going to give you the symbol, the meaning, and where in the Bible these symbols show up. So Job 39 and 19 Psalm 147 verse 10 and Proverbs 21 and 31 again we're talking about horse which is which means strength and power in battle you'll find horse mentioned in Job 39 19 Psalm 147 and 10 and Proverbs 21 and 31 all right so that's pretty much how I'm going to give them to you. So now let's pick up the pace a little bit. The next one, dragon means Satan or his agency. The verses are Isaiah 27 and one, as well as 30 and six, Psalm 74, 13 and 14, Revelation 12, seven through nine, Ezekiel, 29 and 3, Jeremiah 51 and 34. The next one is beast. Some of these symbols you may have heard before. I bet you some of these symbols you've heard before when you were studying your Bible and maybe you just didn't know really what they meant. You saw them in scripture, you saw them in that context, but still you were kind of unsure what that symbol meant. So I know beast is a very um, a popular, I say popular, it's a very well-known symbol uh, that many people have heard of, even though they may have, uh, they may not have realized they were studying prophecy, but they have heard the, the, uh, the word beast. So beast equals uh, kingdom, uh, government, uh, political power. It's mentioned in Daniel chapter 7, verses 17 and 23. And uh, before I go any further, I want to mention that uh, that between now and 
over the next several weeks as we go through our introduction, um, I'd like you to please start reading Daniel chapter 7 because our first Bible study, our first lesson that we will get into from the Amazing Facts study guides is entitled, Who is the Antichrist? I'll tell you that right now. I'll just let the cat out of the bag right now. Our first lesson that we're going to get into is called, Who is the Antichrist? And that lesson is based on Daniel chapter 7. So I'm asking you to please go ahead and start reading uh, Daniel chapter 7 so that by the time we start that lesson study, you will have already studied uh, Daniel 7 and you'll already be familiar with what the Bible has to say about the Antichrist. Again, that's some weeks down the road, but I'd like you to get a head start, start reading Daniel chapter 7. I want to also mention that uh, for Bible prophecy, the books of Daniel and Revelation should be studied as a pair. Many people know that uh, the book of Revelation has to do with uh, has to do with Bible prophecy, but also the book of Daniel. So uh, many people don't understand that Daniel, as well as Revelation, should be studied. Uh, Daniel points to Revelation, Revelation back to Daniel. Now there's other Bible verses, as I'm going through with you right now, where uh, prophetic symbols show up. But uh, primarily when it comes to studying Bible prophecy, please remember that not only is it in the book of Revelation, but also in the book of Daniel, which is why I mentioned to start reading Daniel chapter 7, which is why that first lesson we're going to be studying some weeks down the road is uh, based on uh, on Daniel chapter 7. All right. So we just said beast means kingdom, government, political power. I mentioned that uh, we should look at Daniel chapter 7, verses 17 and 23. The next symbol is the lamb, L-A-M-B. I'm sure you've heard the word lamb before. Our ministry is called Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. Why did we name it Sacrificial Lamb Ministries? Well, simply because Jesus was our sacrificial lamb. He laid down his life. He was, uh, the Bible calls it, um, uh, calls him uh, the Paschal Lamb or the sacrificial lamb. We know what Jesus did. He sacrificed his life for us. Hence the name of our ministry, Sacrificial Lamb. So lamb, as I've already alluded to, lamb means Jesus or sacrifice. So there you have it. Lamb equals Jesus and sacrifice. You can read about lamb or see the word lamb in the context of John 1 and 29, 1 Corinthians 5 and 7. All right. So again, some of these symbols, you're going to be like, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, I've heard that before. The next one, lion. Lion equals Jesus. Powerful king. For example, uh, Babylon. Then uh, take a look at Revelation 5, verses 4 through 9. Jeremiah 50, verses 43 and 44. And as well as uh, Daniel 7. See, uh, there's Daniel 7 again. Daniel 7, verses 4, 17, and 23. The next one is bear, B-E-A-R, bear. Bear equals uh, destructive power. Medo-Persia, M-E-D-O dash Persia. We'll learn more about Medo-Persia later. But for now, understand that bear equals uh, destructive power. And it also is referring to Medo-Persia. Look at uh, Proverbs 28 and 15, 2 Kings 2, 23 and 24, as well as Daniel 7, verse 5. Next one, leopard. Leopard is pointing to Greece, the country of Greece, which we'll learn more about later as well. See, as I said, we're going to learn the symbols first and what they mean so that when they come up later, we'll already have an understanding in the context of the Bible 
in our lessons, we'll already know what the symbols mean. So that's why it's important to lay down this foundation as we're doing right now. Leopard, Greece, Daniel 7, verse 6. The next one, serpent. Okay, I know we've heard the word serpent before, um, but I'm going to let you know what serpent means anyway. Serpent means Satan. Serpent equals Satan. Revelation 12, verse 9, as well as Revelation 20, verse 2. All right, so we're going to go through a few more, and then we're going to uh, to wrap it up for this week's uh, program, or this week's episode. Tongue, T-O-N-G-U-E. Tongue equals language, right? Or, or, or speech. Exodus chapter 4, verse 10. Next one, wolf, a W-O-L-F, wolf, equals uh, disguised enemies that hunt in a time of darkness. You've heard of wolf in sheep's clothing, right? Again, wolf equals disguised enemies that hunt in a time of darkness. Uh, take a look at Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Dove. D-O-V-E. That's another well-known name or symbol. Dove equals Holy Spirit, right? See? Simple. Dove equals Holy Spirit. Mark chapter 1, verse 10. Ram, R-A-M, also points to Medo-Persia. I mentioned Medo-Persia a couple moments ago. Uh, but again, Ram equals Medo-Persia. Daniel. Look at Daniel chapter 8, verse 20. Okay, a few more. Goat points to Greece. Uh, Daniel chapter 8, verse 21. The next horn points to, uh, means king or kingdom. Look at Daniel 7 and 24, 8 and 5, 21 and 22. Zechariah 1 and 18 and, and 19. And Revelation 17 and 12. Lastly, for this week, write down wings, W-I-N-G-S, wings equals speed, protection, deliverance. Look at Deuteronomy 28 and 49 and Matthew 23 and 37. Friends, we're going to wrap it up there with our symbols. Uh, I'll just uh, list them once again. Uh, I'll list all the symbols that I just covered without mentioning the definition or the meaning in the Bible verses. We looked at horse, dragon, beast, lamb, lion, bear, leopard, serpent, tongue, wolf, dove, ram, goat, horn, and wings. So please, between now and the next week that we come together, by God's grace, please take a look at your study notes. Please begin reading Daniel chapter 7. I pray that the Lord will be with you. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's episode of Eyes of Prophecy. We're going to continue studying by God's grace. We're not going to rush through the material. I don't want to rush through the material. There's just so much that we need to learn, so much we need to unpack. And um, I hope that you invite someone else to join me here on the podcast for Eyes on Prophecy. So I pray that you have a blessed Sabbath. And uh, before we go any, anywhere else, let us have a word of, of prayer. Let me close with prayer. Loving Father, thank you so much that for this lesson study. Um, uh, help us to, uh, to better understand what you need us to, uh, to know from your word about Bible prophecy. And um, please be with us throughout the week until we come together next week for another lesson study here on Eyes on Prophecy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your care. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, until we come together next week, by God's grace, be blessed. Have a great week. May the Lord be with you. Please continue to study. And um, join me next week here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time for Eyes on Prophecy. I am your host, Pastor Vince Wilson. And... I pray that the Lord will be with you. Take care.